All right. We here. This is an attempt to collect a debt. Also, we want to send our condolences to um, Pastor McCoy down in um, Jacksonville, Florida. He lost his son on Thursday, I heard. Last Thursday? They buried him today. I did get the message late. I do apologize. Um, they buried him. I think he was killed by a train. Chris, remember, matter of fact, that's how y'all came. We started. His, his youngest son, he was 28. He was killed on Thursday. I think they say he was struck by a train. Yeah. So certainly our condolences to him. Look to try to give him a call, hopefully tomorrow, the most high seat fit. Uh, your Ukanon. Hold on. Yeah, your Ukanon would be fine. Ukanon, chapter 16, at verse 1. Amen. What are we considering now? <clears throat> what we should have considered in the past, um, how... Everything that we deal with is a temporary state. Before you get me there, give me 1 Corinthians, I think it is chapter 4. 4 and about 17. Let me see, that's what I want. That's the last verse. What's the last verse? 1 Corinthians chapter 4. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. <clears throat> Let me see that what I want. 17. Listen. For this cause have I sent unto you Timotheus, who is my beloved son and faithful in Allahim, who shall bring you into remembrance of my ways, which be in the Mashiach, mm -hmm. as I teach everywhere in every assembly. Mm -hmm. Now some are puffed up, as though I would not come to you, but I will come to you shortly, if Allahim will, and will know. Let me see um, the thirteen. Let me see the eleven verse. Listen. Even unto this present hour, we both hunger and thirst and are naked and are buffeted and have no certain dwelling, pl dwelling you know place. Saying? Even to this, in this present hour, we are both, what was again? We both hunger mm -hmm. and thirst mm -hmm. and are naked and are buffeted and have no certain dwelling place. Being striped repeatedly. What happened? And labor, working with our own hands. Yes. Being reviled, we bless. Mm -hmm. Being persecuted, we suffer it. Mm-hmm. Being defamed, we entreat. Uh -huh. We are made as the filth of the world and are the off-scouring of all things unto this day. Listen. I write not these things to shame you. But as my beloved son. I warn you. I'm warning you. Come on. For though ye have 10,000 instructors in the Mashiach. Yet. Have ye not many fathers. Tell them what happened, son. For in Mashiach, Yahushua. What happened? I have begotten you through the gospel. Yes. Wherefore, I beseech you, be ye followers of me. Y'all hear that? That's important for us. There's a lot of people in life that are going to instruct you and tell you things. But he said, you need to be followers of me. There's a lot of people that's going to instruct you and give you information in life that you're going to deal with. But you got to remember where you got your start from. Isn't that right? That's not trying to have, not that, as Shaul would have told us in another place, not that we have dominion over your faith, but we're workers together your joy. And in doing it, then there are things we all need to consider. Let's look at um, 1 Corinthians chapter, uh, I'm sorry, um, your Ukanon chapter 16 and verse 1. Let's just look at some things. A lot of things I don't think we actually take the heart of, or really take seriously because we don't really look at it. We talked about before the Bible has been taught to us in such a passive type way. So a lot of times we don't really consider these men's conversation, nor the apostles, nor the prophets that were before them. A lot of times we don't actually consider just the move and the movement of people and what's their actual agenda when it comes down to us. I don't think we actually consider it. That's why he said, my beloved sons, I'm warning you. He talked about how they were naked, they were buffeted, they were being persecuted. Why? Because they were healing and helping people? Now, these people watching the message of these people again. Anytime you start to turn and illuminate people to the truth, that becomes a dangerous state. Hmm? That's a dangerous state to be put in. Let's see what happened at um, Acts of the Apostle chapter 9. Let's we'll see if it's 9 and 9, what I want. 9 and 14 come to mind. I think, let me see what 9 and 14 say. Acts chapter 9 and verse 14. Listen. 
Verse 14? Yes. And here he hath authority from the chief priests to bind all that call on thy name. Mm -hmm. But Yahushua said unto him, Go thy way, for he is a chosen vessel unto me. He is a chosen who? Vessel unto me. A chosen vessel unto who? Me. What is he going to do? To bear my name before the believe Gentiles. that? To bear his name. To bear his name only simply means to go out and to suffer certain things because of it or to testify about it. Y'all got me? So you're going to bear certain things because of it and you're going to testify about it. That's what he said he's going to do. Y'all hear me? What is he going to do? So we look at what name? A moose. I mean, burdensome. Yeah. Listen. To bear my name before the Gentiles. This is going to bear my name before the who? Gentiles. This is what's going to happen. And kings. You're going to witness and you're going to suffer because of my name before what we would call the other nations or we would call them bastards. All right. I mean, that's what you got in your law. It's their translation. You're going to bear my name before the bastards. Bastards are illegitimate. Meaning we all were created by, but they can't claim him. And if they do, they bastard. They illegitimate. Y'all got it? Let me tell you something. Even when come down to custody issues or just say a person, a father wants to get rights if they weren't married. Anybody that's familiar with this, the first thing they're going to tell you has to be done is the child has to be legitimated by who? The father, not the mother. The father. There has to be some testing that has to be done. Everybody claims it. Have you been legitimated? And if you have been legitimated, you got paperwork. That's what we see here reading. When we call the book of Arborin, that's your that's, that should legitimate you. When we call the law, when we call any of the prophets, y'all hear me? When we go through the writing, that legitimates you. That's how important this book is. You basically been called and saying somebody is your father, and you actually hadn't even been legitimated. And you can have all this time and work in with somebody that legally you don't have any connection to. That's what you got law for. This is legal. That's what they have legal paper. This is legal paperwork you're reading. See, I don't actually think y'all guys really pay attention to what you're going through. Do you, not, do you not know when they do court cases, you will hear lawyers recite other cases previous, not to come, not futuristic? but previous cases that were similar to that the judge would have to acknowledge, especially when you say a certain court ruled on the superior court, the court of appellate, the appellate court ruled on, which allows them to sit back and say, this one make common sense for me to rule anything but according to what higher courts over me did. This is how we judge. This makes sense now, Leon. Y'all don't even pay attention. You got legal paperwork here. So when he told me he's going to bear his name, which means you're going to suffer because of my name, you're going to... The monkey master got on my hand. Where did I get this from? Quite in front of what? I don't want that eraser no more. That thing scared me. Before I get offended, man, I somehow I posted a picture on Twitter. And uh, they, had, they, they, were showing the black, they had a black lady with a blue shirt on, black and blue. That helper was extra black. I told him that helper name was 1201. <laughs> then that man, look at him. When I told man, she, they put her with some black and blue on, I said, black and beautiful. But I said, that woman, burnt, she burnt up. She overdid it. That helper was super black. I'm talking about, man, she was running motor oil. Y'all all right? All right, y'all all right. I'm just trying to tell like it is. I ain't make them. If she ain't had no problem with it, I did. That's some folks say, I ain't, you ain't got no problem, I don't have no problem with it. That's when you just overdoing it. I mean, she was black. Isn't that right? She ain't had to tent her window. <laughs> all right. When you that black, you ain't got to tent your window. That's pretty black thing. That's scary, but I thought I was changing on y'all up here. All right, we back now. That was a commercial break. <coughs> Talking about legal paperwork. Ain't that right? 
We're talking about these other people who he's going to bed. Man, pay attention to what he's going to do. He's going to suffer because of the name, and he's going to witness for the name. Y'all got me? His suffering is going to be a witness for the name. There's more to this. What happened, son? Before the who? Gentiles. Bastards. These are called bastards because they're illegitimate. That's what it is you call a child. We don't have, we don't have the father. It, typically, what you look at, even in a situation, when you call a child a bastard, it's simply because it wasn't legitimate when you were birthed. That's what, you know, people don't like to say that. They say, because it's unfair, they don't make the child feel good. And basically, why we don't like to say it, because the parents don't feel good. Right. Right. Hey, the child, the child don't know until you tell them. Yeah. It's the parent that look at it, because now, when the child says I'm a bastard, the child got to look at the parent and figure out, so what was you doing? Yeah. So what we tend to say, eh, things happen. That's why things have become so common. That's why women now hadn't stopped. Yeah. See, as long as you leave things, that's why men now are so avid and women now about being homosexual because we stop saying stuff faggots so you go to the office go to the office you get suspended you're behind getting out of here now the other kids say, oh good they finna suspend him i better not say it now the homosexual feels better because the name not being called now it becomes more rampant but we had a when we had a name on it when we had something that defined it and it was something that didn't make people feel good then you didn't want to be that isn't that right but now since people don't feel bad, go ahead and do it. Y'all got it? Yeah. The proper name would be for them is bastards. Y'all yeah. got it? Right. All right. Listen. And kings. And the Listen. Children. Now this is your rulers. Your kings and who else? The children of Yashrah. You got to think about this. All I'm trying to do now, I'm trying to go and be a witness to bear the name. All I'm be doing is healing people. This all I'm be doing is healing people and trying to make people feel good, feeding people. Blessing bread, opening up eyes. Why would I need to go and see these rulers? See, what we got is bigger than Nino Bryan. Yeah. This doesn't just stop with the people. These rulers got to be addressed. A lot of times people don't feel like it's, it's not fair or we shouldn't or we've gotten out of our place and religion has, has, religion has a place, but they don't realize it does have a place. It has a place. Our religion, they rule over everything. Our religion is the, high, the hierarchy. See, people don't look at this. Why would this man have to go and see kings? Who else he had to go and see? And the children of Yashraul. And the children of Yashraul. For I will shew him how great things he must suffer for my name's sake. Wow, he going to suffer for my name's sake. Why would a man be suffering that's around here talking and healing people? I ain't talking about nobody, just healing folks and blessing bread. Why would this man get hurt? Who trying to hurt the Pope? Nobody. This Pope ain't doing nothing. Huh? The Pope just walking up, giving man, just talking, talking about absolute nothing, killing time. When you start talking against stuff, when you start showing them how they contradict the word, your life on the line. This is things y'all don't think about. You need to be thinking about this. There were a lot of people involved with this man's death. Huh? At the fourth chapter of the book of Acts of the Apostles, what are the reasons we're going that way you need to hear it? Because I think a lot of y'all sitting here, y'all keep that passive mindset. Still ain't got no gun. So the thing need to be more important. But the people that found this country told you you needed a gun. The people that found this country had a different mindset than the people that got it now. Y'all would be surprised if y'all knew how different these people are from the people that actually found this country. Oh, yeah, they got these people there. They got people today, white people, they call themselves Minutemen. Y'all don't know nothing. Y'all really don't know. They got people they call patriots. Because they look at what their forefathers were. Huh? All right. You got groups that move that call themselves founding fathers. Because they're going back looking at what the Constitution stated, and they're looking at how far these people got away from it. Can I give y'all some fact where y'all look it up to prove me to see if I'm a liar? 1933. I want y'all to look it up. The year 1933. President Roosevelt. The U.S. Congress wrote, stated, that they need a coroner. What do you use a coroner for? Dead body. That's what they said was wrong with it. The United States federal government is dead. Look it up. Prove me wrong. See if Roosevelt and them stated in the Congress. Stated that the United States federal government is dead. They say they need a coroner. 
These people lie to you. These are not the same people. These people rule up under Europe. The people that you go to court to see are under Europe. They're not even under the United States. There is no such thing as the United States federal government. It deceased in 1933. In the month of October, the U.S. Congress ruled on it. Roosevelt ruled on it. Paperwork. Read your paperwork. Prove me wrong. See if I'm lying. Ask these people how they able to put some of it say the United States federal government when the president of the United States at that time and the U.S. Congress all ruled that they were dead. They said they need a coroner. They had made that much mess out of this country. This country was set up by your so-called founding father on a gold and silver standard. Anything that you do should have been done through the transaction of gold or silver. I need you for a minute, Leon. Come on, please, if I could. I'm going to need you to get me that blue pen, and for doing that, I'm gonna, that's going to be called labor. Do that for me, please, sir. I'm going to pay you $5. Here you go, sir. You've done a great work. Now, I paid you. Am I correct? I paid you. Thank you, sir. You can have a sit down. I did not pay this man a dime. I gave this man what is called a note. This is called a note. I would like to get this back because we're not, we're not, they are looking like I made five. You have not made five. Two things you have. You ain't even got the note at this point. This is called a note. This is a promissory note. The reason why your United States federal government was slain and killed and coronized, if that's a word, if it ain't, I just call it so it is, so it's got to be a word. Couldn't say if it wasn't a word. Not reincarnated. The reason why, because of this. This should have been bagged up, and if I had actually paid you, Leon, I would have gave you this in gold or silver. This is what this was for. What I just gave you here, you were supposed to take this to the bank. When he went to the bank, the bank was supposed to give him this amount of what this paper stayed in gold or silver. Y'all got it? In 1933, Roosevelt and the U.S. Congress ruled they ain't have it. They have no gold. They have no silver to back this up. Now, why the reason I'm telling y'all this? Because y'all need to know it. The reason why you need to know this, because you have no business being taxed. When have you ever been paid with gold or silver? Well, the founding father, when they originated the country, came up with the gold and silver standard, saying that you had to give a person gold or silver for their labor. Also, how they beat you, you're supposed to be paid every day. How you know where they got that from? The book. The book told you you were not supposed to keep the hire of a person all that day. You're supposed to get them their money that day. They know this. Everything they said, they got from the book. Every week, every two weeks, twice a month is not what they set up. The reason why they came up with this, because gold and silver was too heavy for people to keep on them. So the banks were supposed to keep it, and all they were supposed to do was to take this to the bank, and he could get the gold and the silver for this. We can continue to use this, Leon, as long as the gold and silver was in the bank. That's why they ruled that they needed a coroner. They said because it was dead. That's why you couldn't possibly pay a debt with this. This is a debt. You couldn't possibly be IRS tax because you've never been paid. You've never received wages in your life. If you've never been paid with gold or silver, you can literally and righteously tell the IRS, I've never been paid. Show me when I've ever been paid currency. I've been given a promissory note. I've never been paid. We get W-2s and 1099s every year saying we got some. When did you get it? I got that in promissory notes. I've never received the gold or the silver. That's why y'all pay me. Young people, they tell you a lot of stuff. These people, they want to make a fool out of you. You can look it up. Y'all go check behind me. Y'all going to let me keep it. Y'all look it up. Now I'm wrong. Y'all going to leave me up here lying? Check behind me and see. 1933. They don't tell us nothing. These schools, guys, they teach out. They don't talk about that, dude. They don't tell you the U.S. The United States federal government is dead. There's, there is no United States federal government. So all these white people that kicking up the like militia, all of what we said, these white people crazy. They in the wood with guns. These white people, I don't know why they fighting. These white people know. That's why they had no gun. That's why they got no tank. They went to their military to get trained, and they went straight to the wood and sell militia. Because they already know this is not a government. You said, why do these people keep coming against the government? Because they know the United States federal government no longer exists. When you go to court, you see that nice flag with that yellow fringes? Then you know that you're in foreign territory. 
Look at the flag. These people listen. There are number of idolaters. When you go to court, you say a nice little heifer with a little blindfold on with her scale. Because that's Zeus' wife. What's her name? Chismas? Y'all ever seen? Oh, yeah. She great. She was the lady that was in charge of the, she was Zeus's counselor. The scale is for the plaintiff and the defendant. And she had the sword in her hand because she's supposed to carry out justice. That's why when you walk in now, that's why you're in a war room. She has a sword because she's letting you know she's got to enforce justice. And she's blind. And you know what the book told about these people? And yes, Yahoo, they're watchmen are blind. They're all ignorant. They're all dumb dogs. They can't see. He tried to tell these people, see, why would I put somebody blind here? Why would somebody blind be carrying out justice? Why would I let somebody, why would I let Rachel and Steve want, can y'all find me something to wear? You blind. Why are you using Greek mythology in here when you're supposed to say one nation under God? Because God is Greek. That joke said one nation under all. You're not with this. You're not from this country. He said, I said one nation. He said under all. What country you with? What country you from? I thought you were from this hell hole. He said public school. But just to show you something, when you start dealing with these people, these people do a lot. They got a lot going on that people just sat down. You just succumb to, you don't question. People sat down and felt like you're obeying someone when you're really not. You're being led. The book is just like she to a slaughter. Why do you think he had this man to go and he going to go and see king? Because kings make rules. Kings make decisions. I need you to go and see the decision maker, decision maker and bear my name before him. Be a witness, and you're going to look at what you're going to suffer when you tell these people they're wrong. You don't like that. That's stuff y'all need to know. At the fourth chapter of the book of Acts of the Apostles, 4 and 24, listen to the book. And when they heard that, they lifted up their voice to Allah with one accord and said, Yahuwah, Thou art Allahim, which has made Shamayim and Aritz and the sea and all that in them is, who by the mouth of thy servant Dawood has said, Why did the heathen rage? Who? Why did the heathen rage? Why did the bastards rage? And who else, son? And the people imagine vain things. Who? The kings of the earth. Wow. Wow. Well, who else, son? Stood up. And the rulers were gathered together against Yahuwah and against his Mashiach. For what reason? Of a truth against thy Kudash child, Yahusha, whom thou hast anointed, both Herod and Pontius Pilate. Who? With the Gentiles. Yeah. And the people of Yasharal. Did what, son? Were gathered together. Did what? For to do whatsoever thy hand and thy counsel determined before to be done. That's how you wound up dying. They get you in trouble. Our own people and their government. That's who killed them. Dawood already told us about this. Huh? Y'all need to know this. At the 16th chapter of the book of your Ukanon. See, let me tell you what happened. These little nice little pastor light, these people got they done came through here and died. These people ain't died with it, man. They ain't no more than Dr. King did. That's right. That's right. Dr. King died for playing with that trash. Yep. He had nothing to do with banning that. He worried about that trash. That trash got him killed. Yep. He got to fooling with that war machine with that Vietnam. He wasn't banning his name. Right. Y'all don't, don't even know nothing about Dr. King. Right. Y'all let me tell you something about King. For y'all that didn't know, look at him and check out behind him. Don't let me just leave him lying. King didn't even believe in the virgin birth. No. King said scientifically didn't even make sense. You some real niggas. No. All these black folk, Father King, these folk, black folks stupid. Yep. White people laugh at you. Yep. How many of I can tell you, you remember um, Dr. King, didn't you? Mother, tell you remember Dr. King? How many of y'all remember Dr. King remembering? I mean, they old enough to remember him, remember him preaching. And when did they ever tell y'all Dr. King didn't believe in the virgin birth? That would have made a difference for y'all, wouldn't it? Made you look at him differently. Dr. King didn't believe in it. These folks don't know nothing about Dr. King. These folks just be running and doing stuff. Poor ignorant folks. They don't know no value. Our people don't know nothing. They be running behind these folks, just following people. You don't even know what they believe. King had education. 
Can't let it think. There's a scientific explanation for everything. Morehouse graduate. That's why I'm on. I don't I know he'll sleep. Morehouse will make you sleep. <laughs> King will sleep when they were trying to teach that. They said, Dr. King, where are you? I don't believe it. They're like, you know they're documenting. Let them you die. They're going to come back up. You say you didn't believe the birds of birth. When you spend that kind of money and time here to get these people lectures and get these people paperwork, you got to go out here and defend it just like they told you. These people mess you up. You can't listen to these people, man. A lot of these people saying they be following these people. They don't even know what they be following. All of them just be running, man. Then you got to look at all the people that were with them. If they got it on paper, they knew it and they were with them too. Andrew Young probably be someone going hypocrite and preaching. Oh, that's some hypocrite. They know it's a joke. Them people know they ain't in nothing. They ain't gonna take niggas' money. They don't even know these people believe. Come on, son, finish up what you got. Joke 9, chapter 16. 16 and verse 1. Listen. These things have I spoken unto you that you should not be offended. Listen. They shall put you out of the synagogues. Yeah, they go to synagogue. What else, son? Yea, the time cometh that whosoever killeth you will think that he doeth Allahim's service. Tell me what happened, son. And these things will they do unto you. Now, he, hold, he think they're going to do unto me. Unto you. Why? Because they have not known the Father nor me. That's why they're going to do it. These people don't know it. They're going right back to when we were Mizraim. What did Pharaoh tell Moshe? Who is it that I should obey him? Everything they're going to do because they know him. They know him by his works in the word, but they deny him by works. They know that he exists. But they're going to kill him because you got to stop it. His government supersedes their government. His rule greater than their rule. So everybody that comes along and try to teach and instruct people to show them differently, they're going to take those people down. They're going to label you as a rebel rouser, a troublemaker. Huh? They're going to label you as somebody that's anti-government. Huh? They don't want to obey and follow the law. I do follow the law. The law of Allah, he override everybody else's law. Amen. Let's see what happened. We've been told to obey magistrates and judge, haven't we? Ain't that's our book? At the fifth chapter of Acts of the Apostles? Say that five and by 25. Let's say I help y'all out a little bit tonight. For whatever reason, y'all need to know this. Because everybody got their little pass away, you don't cutely die. Come in and serve Jesus, sing some song, hear him get baptized, and go to your grave. You're going to go straight to hell. You're going to sit down, you're going to, that man, he'll tell you what's going to happen. They're going to put you out of these synagogues. They ain't going to let me just come in all these places and preach. Say the time come, whoever kill you, you're going to support, they're going to do all of him service. So they tell you, ain't a devil in hell can mess with you when you fall in Jesus. You're right. Devil ain't got nothing to do with no nigga fall in Jesus. He already know you ain't. You good. So you be down here like my cousin, my cousin Richard told my dad, you be in hell with him out of the wild. Yeah. Well, you stand on the name, you stand on the promise, he let her know. You do know these people going to kill you. He said, I told you this so they don't just throw you off your feet later. Right. So these people don't realize, why are these people going to just throw you out when all you going to be talking about is healing and love? Why would anybody throw you out? That's all you're talking about, healing and love. They're going to tell you that's what the church is all about. Because you condemn these behaviors. Yeah. Yeah. You coming against the action, you telling people the right way. Yeah. Huh? That's why they're going to throw you out. They're going to kill you because you're going to say and you're not going to bow down to their government. Right. Just like with Meshach, Shadrach, and one bad Negro. Yeah. Three Hebrew boys. Why you think they putting them guys inside a fiery furnace? Because they were healing people? Because they wouldn't fall down and worship their God? Yeah. And you cause other people, why you think they want to kill Mordecai? Because he wouldn't fall down and worship their God. Yeah. Same reason they want to kill, why they want to kill Nakum Yah? They looked at him. They said, you looking to be a king. The people following you. They look at you going to break them from up under our rule, under our command. That's enough to get you killed. Okay. Listen. Then came one and told them, saying, Behold, the men whom you put in prison are standing in the temple and Who teaching the people. Who put them the in people. prison? The priests? Pharisees? We ain't had no jails to put nobody in. Come on. Then went the captain with the officers and brought them without violence. Wow. The police. Chief of police. They brought them again without violence. What happened, son? For they feared the people, lest they should have been stoned. See, that's what we had to look at. Once the government started to fear the people, a lot of that junk we cut off. Yeah. See, they would have kept This is what happened right here. We too divide. This is what they need. 
They need them Stacey Dashiell and all them crazy niggas, that other little jet black motor all looking lady come again. Cause they realize once we divide it, see that's it. When we stand and we all together and we strong, they realize then we feel the people. Especially when the people are armed. Oh, you, you just a bunch of unarmed niggas, ain't nothing but a little tug at it, it disperse y'all. <laughs> little pepper spray. You start thinking about all these people got guns, we need to be careful. Cause they got guns and we got guns. Huh? This can be real bad. Huh? All right. Time to help y'all out. Listen. And when they had brought them, they set them before the council. Wow. Brought them before the council. Let them talk to the Congress and the senators. What happened? And the high priest asked them. And the high priest asked them. Saying, did not we straightly command you that you should not teach in this name? And behold, ye have filled Jerusalem with your doctrine and intend to bring this man's blood upon us. Look at this now. You got the police, the chief of police, then you got our people here, the council. They got you set. Then they bring you and say, did we not? Who they brought him before again now after the council, but after the, uh, the police and the chief um, and the captains? And when they had brought them, they set them before the council mm -hmm. and the high priest asked them, saying, did we not straightly command you that you should not teach in this name? Come on. And behold, ye have filled Jerusalem with your doctrine and intend to bring this man's blood upon us. Listen. Then Cuff and the other apostles answered and said, we ought to obey Allahim rather than men. They knew what they were doing. First of all, we don't brought you. What our book told about obeying magistrate? Leadership. Now, in, that, in your law, you were told that whatever they come up and whatever they rule, well, you were supposed to obey them. Huh? The high priest? Say that Dabarim. Ooh, ooh. Uh-uh. All I hate Dabarim. Say that what I want. This is stuff they don't want y'all to know. You sorry preacher they got around here, they never got to worry about the people ever coming at them. They ain't doing nothing. They let them sit out here and stay past and make a mess. Biggest thing they fighting is scoundrels that they actually done committed. Mm. They're not doing nothing. I'm just trying to figure out why would somebody be killing you if you follow this good, clean Jesus? Don't talk like me. He's blessed and love everybody. Treat everybody right. Mm. Ain't doing nobody no wrong. So respectful. Why would you kill him? Couldn't have been two pastors. We done took some, some cords and bound them together and started beating people. That's what a passive man do. That's what they need you to believe, though. They need you to bind that hype. They let you stay a slave. They break that slave mentality. Y'all don't believe me, do you? They got you. They got us. They got us good. They good. Sunday church is the best way to make a man passive. I'm telling that Sunday religion, get the Sunday song. It's all about what he'll do. He'll fix it. Trouble in my way, I have to do what? Right. Why I can't move to trouble? Right. Why I can't start crying? Dude, no, I had to cry sometime. Who gonna fix it? That teaching me right there to be passive. Don't do nothing. Wait on him and let him do it. When he gonna fix it? What time is after wild day? Look at you. Got to watch on. Who got to watch? What time? What do your clock start at? Twelve. Where's the end at? What the time is after a while? That's when it's psychic. That is psychic. I know he'll fix it, huh? See that? Gotcha. When he gonna fix? You look at your clock. You ain't got no after a while. When is Jesus coming? After a while. Nigga slave song. That's how they get you. Look at your watch. What time is after a while? In his time. When is his time? Nobody knows the true rubble. Won't you tell us, nigga? Nobody knows the sorrow. Whoa, 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 whoa. They make us pass it, boy. Sunday church teach you that. It's all about waiting on Jesus. Hmm? I don't care when. I don't care how. Huh? Even if you don't, that's a problem. I'm calling on you to do. I don't want to talk about you don't. Let's talk about you do because I need you. 
They train you. They make you passive. This is how they control our minds. They get you thinking you law about it when you passive. When you sat here, you succumb to their foolishness. Anybody that talks against or try to show you a different way is automatically a rebel rouser. Hmm, that same thing they did with Shaul. They threw him out of the temple. They put a line and told him he brought Greeks into the temple. Hmm? They even tried to say he was the Egyptian. He tried to tell you, look, I ain't never been accused of causing no uproar in no synagogue. Never happened. You're lying on me. These people been doing this. They've been making a fool out of us so long, we just sit here and don't realize they've taken the book and taught us how to be passive to them. They made it easy for a man. White man, come, you already know what to do. Close your eyes and give him your cheek. And don't worry about it. Jesus is going to fix it. When? What time? After a while. He taught you this. See if the white man you walk into him, see if he close his eyes and give you his cheek. Read the same book you read, too. He called him Jesus. See if he'll close his eyes and wait on Jesus. Go out there and start pouring gas around that pretty white church and burn him and see if he wait on Jesus to come put it out. Or see if he take you out right then. In the name of Jesus. We've been fooled. Mm. Run them up. Let us straight. Bamboozle. They got us. They got us. But we'll look at some things tonight if y'all got time. Amen. All right. What we at, son? Ooh, all our dabarim. Ooh, all, uh, all our hey dabarim, chapter 17. 17. Let me hear about verse 5. Let me see something. Listen. Then shalt thou bring forth that man or that woman which have committed that wicked thing unto thy gates, even that man or that woman, and shalt stone them with stones till they die. Mm -hmm. At the mouth of two witnesses or three witnesses shall he that is worthy of death be put to death. Listen. But at the mouth of one witness he shall not be put to death. Listen. The hands of the witnesses shall be first upon him to put mm -hmm. him to death, and afterward the hands of all the people. Come on. So thou shalt put the evil away from among you. So what happened? If there arise a matter too hard for thee in judgment, between blood and blood, yeah, between plea and plea, yeah, and between stroke and stroke, what happens? Being son? matters of controversy within thy gates, yeah, then shalt thou arise and get thee up into the place which Yahuwah, thy Allahim, shall choose. What you want me to do when I get down? And thou shalt come unto the the, the Kohan. To the who? The Kohan. What word they use? The priest. Wow, that's amazing. They brought him before the. The police, the chief of police, the council, and the high priest. What will happen when I take him up before the coin? Of Louis. Of Louis. And unto the judge that shall be in those days. And what you want me to do? And inquire, and they shall shew thee the sentence of judgment. What you want me to do if I don't like it? And thou shalt do according to the sentence, which they of that place which Yahuwah shall choose, shall shew thee. Y'all see how they get us? That's how smart your enemy is. Take them right out of the jail, get the police officer, the chief of police, take them before their counsel, then take them before the high priest and let him tell you, did we not straightly command you not to preach and teach anymore in that name? Because you know law. Y'all don't know nothing. Y'all don't know no more. Y'all don't know why they, they don't even know why they would have took them that duty, Chris. Makes sense though, don't it? What am I supposed to do now when, I, when he tell me something? And thou shalt do according to the sentence which day of that place which Yahuwah shall choose shall shew thee. And thou shalt observe to do according to all that they inform thee. Then we straight today the tell you not to preach or teach anymore in that name. See how smart your enemy is? See, your enemy reads your book. You just too dumb to know your book. See, they know your law. They know exactly who they let tell them. They know they ain't going to listen to no police officer. They were sovereign. They know they're not going to sit here and listen to no chief of police officer try to tell them nothing. But now when you bring the Kohan up, huh? In that day, in the place that he done chose, didn't, did we not straightly tell you, y'all got not to do it, but caught one by itself. Him and the other 11 said the same thing. It right for us to obey Allahim and you. Because you talking like a man now. You're not talking like a man that works for Allahim. Allahim will give us no such command not to preach and teach in his That's name. Right. 
Amen, that's right. Ain't that right? He said to bear witness of his name. Amen. Huh? See, you got to know, that's what they're going to get you. That's how they get a pastor. They know how to take the book and make you pass it. That's why Shaul told Timotheus, study to show yourself approved. A word that need not be ashamed of doing what? You got to know how to divide. Amen. You got to know how to divide. Huh? Amen. I'm trying to tell you, he knew what he was doing. When he sat the apostle down, he ate the meal. You know what he told him to do? Take this. You know what I want him to do? Divide among yourselves. Now, I can sit here and clearly see it, 13, it don't make sense for me to take the most. I know how to break this up and make sure everybody get a fair shot. So the same thing I had to know when they sat down, they're going to sit down when they come down to the truth. You don't know how to divide. You don't know how to be able to have enough wisdom and understanding to watch these people. These folks have had us on a passive stand a long time, and they used this book to do it. Man, this book right here, the biggest part of hypnosis you've ever seen. Hard huh? nigga never close his eyes. Eyes awake and still you sleep. You're in a trance. You're on a trend through their teaching with this book. Right. Oh, I look like somebody, oh, he had to come here. No, I'm anti wrong. That's right. yeah. I'm anti lie. Yeah. Huh? Yes, sir. I'm against anti M. That helper that let dogs that got kidnapped on the wizard. Right. That is right. Right. I don't like that helper either. Yeah. All right. <laughs> that right. I'm against anti M. People done programmed us so long we can't even think. Now we got to go back and start looking at all this stuff they told us and looking at exactly what did he do versus what they told us. Let's look at some. I sent y'all some paperwork in the email. What's that? Let's see the book of uh, Oriol. They ain't going to like me probably after the night. That's right. Put that yo, yo Shawaka. That's her birth name. That's what my phone spelled. Google ain't got no time to get it wrong. Yosha Walker. Anybody else spell her name Yosha Walker? When they put it in there? How many of y'all love you who? Everybody phone do it. Even Dave. They say, yeah, hey, Dave phone do it too. Listen. Chapter and verse. Read my mind. <laughs> They don't mess me up. Why did I put it up now? No one. <laughs> 23. You said chapter 3? 23. You said 23. I can't hear because Andre is I'm going to throw that. But I know I put on something. It's Andre. I got that new little job. He done got up and got besides himself. You work today? Yes, sir. He still ain't got no gun, do he? Go to work and need a gun. So how they shot. I told you I got them, them five students shot in them. I had a gun. Could have been six people dead today. Could have shot the shooter. <laughs> Isn't that right? And you couldn't stop that fire. At least you could say it. One no more after that. Yeah. Isn't that right? I shot that nigga. <laughs> Isn't that right? Everybody ought to have a gun, ain't it? Amen. No, they answered no, no. I don't even want to think about some of y'all in here with a gun. Some of y'all didn't need somebody with a gun to be beside you. Yeah. <laughs> be the devil don't need no gun. Whether he fall asleep. And be double thinking, he be having them, had them panic attack. <laughs> Pow! Blow it, bro. <laughs> Two thousand one thousand. Beatley with a gun and prison with a thong. <laughs> I just don't even want to think about it. I just keep seeing that elephant with that piece of yarn around his neck trying to hold him still. What did that mean? Can somebody interpret the dream? All right. 23, let me see what 23 and 1 say. Let me see what I want. <laughs> 23 and 1, listen. And the whole multitude of them arose and led him unto Pilate. And they began to accuse him, saying... I just can't get this now. Hold on for a minute. This is supposed to be a religious issue. Why are we taking him to Pilate? Why are we taking him to Pilate? Now, he just said here, now, now the whole multitude done rose up, and they done led this man to Pilate. Come on, son. And they began to accuse him, saying, we found this fellow perverting the nation and perverting forbidding to nation. give tribute to Caesar. And forbidding to give tribute to Caesar. So let me ask y'all a question. Would it be safe to say, without interpretation, just simply going what's going on here, that Yahushua was against the government? They just sat here and took this man, a whole multitude. And guess what this multitude? This our people. Yep. 
taken to Pilate, saying that this man, what was he doing? We found this fellow perverting the nation. Perverting. Pervert would be to cause you to uh, overturn or move you away from. This is why the man was killed. Right. There ain't no problem with man feeding nobody. Right. Sick folk getting healed, they're taking press on hospitals. Right. Welfare stamp. Them folks, hey, we ain't got to get them food stamp out this month. But now you start teaching people to come from under the authority and the rule of these people. Right. This will get you killed. Why they ain't bring up that? Why they ain't talk about him feeding people? Open the blind eyes. He can hurt ophthalmologists, huh? Cut the glass industry off. They tell you what they brought the man here saying. We found this fella, and he's telling people, trying to get them away from under Caesar's rule. That's why Tony eats Caesar salad. You know what's bad about that whole thing? Caesar was Roman. Roman and Greeks, the same people. When you go to the United States courtroom, you got Greek. Yeah. Roman rule. Yeah. Latin on the front of the pulpit. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yahushua here today, what did he be saying? Let it desire. Please go to see the Romeo, Romeo, with four people, people mind bad. They don't look at this stuff, do they? I just need y'all to pay attention to some things. Listen. And forbidding to give tribute to Caesar, saying that he himself is Mashiach, a Malak. Wow. What happened? And Pilate asked him, saying, Art thou the Malak of the Yahudim? Yes. And he answered him and said, Thou sayest it. Yes. Then said Pilate to the chief priest and to the people, I find no fault in this man. Come on. And they were the more fierce saying, he stirreth up the people, teaching throughout all, Ju all Yehuda, beginning from Galilee to this place. When Pilate heard of Galilee, he asked whether the man were a Galilean. For what reason, Brandon? Come on. And, and as soon as he knew that he belonged unto Herod's jurisdiction, what happened, son? he sent him to Herod. See that? Bounce him around. Bounce him around to other rulers. Here you find out our people who definitely had a problem with him. Now, we don't turn him over to them, to their ruler. And another man started looking at him. We're dealing with legal law. Let's send him over to another jurisdiction. Let's go get him prosecuting that jurisdiction as well. No, oh, they don't look at this stuff like that. Listen. Who himself also was at Jerusalem at that time. Yes. And when Herod saw Yahusha, he was exceeding glad. Why? For he was desirous to see him of a long season. See, he's been knowing about it. These people know about me. So they've been desired to see him a long time. What happened, son? Because he had heard many things of him. What happened? And he hoped to have seen some miracle done by him. So that nigga, nothing. That's the problem now, the nigga will step and fetch. As soon as the nigga run the White House perform. He don't got, he wants to sit and do that, huh? I want to get drunk. Make it wine. I ain't coming to entertain you, nigga. I ain't coming in there. He'll put a nigga eyes out, see if I'm make him see. Still blind. <laughs> y'all know they don't pay attention to stuff like that. See, a lot of stuff y'all don't look at with this. Y'all not looking who involved this. Our own people. That who told us about these folks. Oh, he won't know why. Why would these bastards enrage? Why would they imagine in vain things and their foolish hearts would darken? The people of Yashra alone. With the kings and the rulers, they all set themselves against him. And what you think they're going to do if they set themselves against him? They're against us too. Yep. That's right. You follow him. You don't think it's going to be dangerous to you? Ask off. Yep. As they took Yahushua, he was standing there warm himself saying, you one of them. What gave him away? That's why we had to learn how to speak Arborine. That's why the Hebrew Israelites trying to stay English. Yeah. There ain't no threat. Hebrew Israelites mean terrorism to them. Yep. They know them guys are joke. Oh, gave him away. You said the same thing he said. Why do you think she brought that up? Ain't nobody else talking like that but y'all and him. Y'all must be together. Y'all gonna sell out to be with these people. Y'all not looking at who we follow. Y'all don't realize how crucial they're gonna get for, do you? They're gonna get a whole lot more serious than what y'all. A lot of y'all gonna fall away though. You ain't gonna be ready to die. You don't realize you're gonna die either way it goes. 
Y'all going to sell out for these kids in here. They're going to show where y'all hearts at. They're going to get tight on y'all. Go real tight. Y'all got to walk away from them. They're going to get tight. That's what people do when they go. You know what killed me, though? When I say kill me as a, uh, as a figure of speech, how people can sit here and die with the wrong stuff and quit on the right. When they die and go to hell for the wrong stuff. Folks try to get them to deny Jesus, I die and go to hell. We're teaching this the man name, Jesus name of slave ship. Jesus ain't even name, it's earth pig in Latin. And you sit here and you're still ready to die for we tell you what the name is and show you with the with the all, all, all of best, everything you didn't know about it, and you sit here now and reading it quick. I just don't believe he was woman. I just don't see it. It don't make sense because you don't want to be saved. That's right. That's right. Just trying to get y'all to look at something. Something down in about the 30, the 30th verse of that same book. Let's look at something right quick. Listen. Then shall they begin to say to the mountains, fall on us, and to the hills, cover us. For if they do these things in a green tree, Tell them what happened, son. What shall be done in the dry? What you think they're going to do to us? Come on. And there were also two others, malefactors, led with him to be put to death. And when they were come to the place, which is called Calvary, there they crucified him and the malefactors, one on the right hand and the other on the left. Mm -hmm. Then said Yahusha, Father, forgive them. What is that? Forgive them. What, for what reason? For they know not what they do. That beautiful. That is beautiful. What do you want me to do again, Father? Forgive what you want them. Father to do? For you do what now? Forgive them. Why do you want to forgive them? For they know not what they do. Wow. At the 11th chapter of the book of your Ukanon, verse 9. That's beautiful. That's something we don't emphasize enough of. Forgiveness. Forgive them, for they know not what they do. The eleventh chapter. That's for where we give me verse forty-four. Listen. And he that was dead came forth, bound hand and foot with grave clothes. Back, remember, make it verse forty. What happened? Yahusha saith unto her, said I not unto thee that if thou wouldest believe, thou shouldest see the glory of Allahim. Mm -hmm. Then they took away the stone from the place where the dead was laid, and Yahusha lifted up his eyes and said, What did he say? Father, yeah. I thank thee that thou hast heard me, mm -hmm. and I knew that thou hearest me always, but because of the people which stand by, I what said you, it. You, that's why I said it. For the sake of the people that stood by, that's why I said it. What's the last verse? Give me verse 54. Let me see what it says. Like. Listen. Yahushua, therefore, walked no more openly among the Yahudim. He walked no more openly before the Yahudim. What happened, son? But went thence unto a country near to the wilderness and to a city called Ephraim, and there continued with his disciples. Mm -hmm. And the Yahudim's Passover was nigh at hand, mm -hmm. and many went out of the country up to Jerusalem before the Passover to purify themselves. Mm -hmm. Then sought they for Yahushua and spake among themselves as they stood in the temple, what think ye that he would not come to the feast? Mm -hmm. Now both the chief priests and the Pharisees had given well, you're, you're in the 12th chapter. The last verse of, of 11. Back me up and give me about, what verse you started at? At 54? Back me up and give me about verse 49. Let me see that side. Listen. And one of them named Caiaphas. One of them named who? Caiaphas. Give me verse, that's 49. Yes. Give me, give me 48. Let's see what happened. Listen. If we let him thus alone... All men will believe on him. If we let him alone, all men going to believe on him. Come on. And the Romans shall come and take away both our place and nation. Wow. And the Romans going to come and take away our place and our nation. What happened? And one of them, named Caiaphas, being the high priest that same year. The high Kohan. What happened? Said unto them. What did he say? Ye know nothing at all. Told them they ain't know nothing at all. He on the cross and just said, they don't know what they're doing. Now we got the high priest saying, y'all don't know nothing at all. Tell them why they don't know nothing, Caiaphas. Nor consider that it is expedient for us that one man should die for the people and that the whole nation perish not. So they don't know what they're doing? They don't know what they're doing? What happened, son? And this spake he not of himself. What? Hold on for a minute. You said he came up with this his own studies? And this spake he not of himself. How did he speak it? But being high priest that year, he prophesied 
that wow. Yahusha should die for that nation. So it made sense that he was up there. He was saying they didn't know what they were doing. They don't know what they're doing. When Caiaphas, who was the high priest that year, told them, you don't know nothing. You're right. They didn't know nothing until you told them. And matter of fact, you didn't even do it to yourself. You were prophesying. So y'all don't know nothing. It's expedient for us. This man should die. Otherwise, we're going to wind up getting taken down. Huh? One man should die. This fellow here should die. He people put stuff in to make a fool like you. Let's look at something. 20th chapter of the book of Ari, y'all. What time of year that would have been when he would have died? What are we doing at the beginning of the year? What we do? Harvest. Thank you, sir. Harvest. He exactly right. Harvest. I got three times in the year that you're going to gamble. Three times in the year you're going to gamble. Mm. It's amazing. Let's see what happens. 20th chapter of the book of Oreo. Y'all got a little time for y'all that sleepy. Y'all going to go to sleep. Let's see something. Let's look. Listen. On the all. <laughs> Listen. Beginning at verse 1. That'd be fine. It's all the same word. Listen. And it came to pass that on one of those days, as he taught the people in the temple mm -hmm. and preached the gospel, mm -hmm. the chief priests and the scribes came, came upon him with the elders. Listen what happened. And spake unto him, saying, What did they say? Tell us, by what authority doest thou these things? Yeah. Or who is he that gave thee this authority? Yeah. And he answered and said unto them, What is that? I will also ask you one thing. What is it? And answer me. The baptism of Yaukanan. Yeah. Was it from Shamayim or of men? What happened? And they reasoned with themselves, saying, If we shall say from Shamayim, he will say, Why then believe ye not believe ye him not? Yes. But and if we say of men, all the people will stone us. For they be persuaded that Yaukanan was a prophet. Yeah. And they answered that they could not tell whence it was. And Yahushua said unto them, Neither tell I you by what authority I do these things. Yes. Then began he to speak to the people this parable. What is he saying? A certain man planted a vineyard. A certain man. What time you said it was when we do that? First a certain man planted a vineyard. Planted a vineyard. What happened? And led it forth to the husbandman. And he led it forth to the husbandman. And went into a far country for a yeah. long time. Uh-huh. And at the season he sent a servant to the husbandman that they should give him of the fruit of the vineyard. He sent servant. That they should give him of the fruit of the vineyard. What happened, son? But the husbandman beat him and sent him away empty. Mm -hmm. And again, he sent another servant. Another one? And they beat him also. What happened? And entreated him shamefully. Yeah. And sent him away empty. Uh-huh. And again, he sent a third. And they wounded him also and cast him out. Yeah. Then said the master of the vineyard. What are you saying? What shall I do? What, tell me what you're going to do, master. I will send my beloved son. Wow. I'm going to send Dao. Ben? Dao, Ben? Mm. Listen. It may be they will reverence him. It may they be see now him. they might consider this and give respect to him. What happened, son? But when the husbandmen saw him, well, tell me what they did. They reasoned among themselves, saying, Yeah. This is the heir. Come, let us kill him. Let us do what now? Let us kill him. Yeah. That the inheritance may be ours. What happened? So they cast him out of the vineyard and killed him. Yeah. What therefore shall the master of the vineyard do unto them? That's what I want to know. He asking them something. Now he asking, he talking to the apostle. Now, what do you think the master of the vineyard are going to do to them? Let's see what he's going to do. He shall come and destroy these. He husbands. shall come and pray for them. He shall come. He and shall destroy. come and forgive them. He shall come and destroy these husbandmen. What happened, son? And shall give the vineyard to others. So it made seven be saying, "Forgive him." He taught them this parable. That parable just told you, "He done sent you the prophets. You wounded them. You beat them, and now he done sent his beloved son, Daoud Ben, and you kill him." 
He asked them, now you tell me what's going to happen. They say he's going to kill them. He got to kill them. It makes sense he's been up on the cross telling them to forgive them. They have what they have, um, what they grade some of these passages. They gave this about a C. That particular passage we read in the 23rd chapter of the book of Ariel, they were graded to give about a C, which means they felt it not to be accurate. They found it not to be accurate. They found that statement not to be well supported or to be accurate. That he actually got up on that cross and told them, forgive them. But your white slave master taught it to you. Yeah, from Yahoo chapter 14. Y'all from Yahoo. Fourteen. Give me about verse seven. Let's just read that. Listen. O Yahuwah, though our iniquities testify against us. See that? Do our iniquity do what? Testify against us. Yeah. Do thou it for thy name's sake. For our backslidings are many. Mm-hmm. We have sinned against thee. Wow, we don't sin against thee. Come on. O the hope of Yasharal, the who should therefore, the who should thereof in time of trouble. Why shouldest thou be as a stranger in the land? Wow, why should thou be as a stranger in the land? Come and on, a, son. And as a wayfaring man. As a traveling man. That turneth aside to tarry for a night. Y'all hear that? That like a man that just finds somewhere to just turn aside for the night. Listen. Why shouldest thou be as a man astonished? Wow, why should you be as a man just astonished? As That's a, what he was when he was up on the, on the two. He was astonished. Who else told him they was astonished? Who? Who? You're right. Azra told us that. Hold you got, Azra. You hold you got. I'm gonna help y'all out. Azra chapter nine, verse one. Let's see. Let's see if I can help y'all out. Azra chapter nine, verse one. Listen. Now when these things were done, tell me what happened, son. The princes came to me saying, See that the rulers came to me saying, The people of Yasharal and the priests and the Levites have not separated themselves from the people of the lands. Y'all see what happened? They did the same thing when they came down to crucify Yahushua. They separated themselves. They were right there with them. That's what Dawood named them for. All of them, you with them bastards. You sat here and you right along with them. The Kohans are with them. The tribe of Louis are with them. The children of Yashra, the children of the Yahudim are with them. They have not separated themselves from the bastards. Right. Right. Come on, son. Doing according to their abominations. Wow, doing according to their abominations. Even of the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Perizzites, the Jebusites, the Ammonites, the Moabites, the Egyptians, and the Amorites. Come on. For they have taken of their daughters for themselves and for their sons, so that the Kudash seed have mingled themselves with the people of those lands. You're going to mix with bastards. Come on. Yea, the hand of the princes and rulers have been chief in this trespass. Wow. Weren't they chief in giving him away? Yep. Listen. And when I heard this thing, I rent my garment and my mantle and plucked off the hair of my head and of my beard and sat down astonished. Just, wow. I sat there and I was astonished. Tell me how long, son. Then were assembled unto me every one that trembled at the words of, of the Allahim of Yasharal because of the transgression of those that had been carried away. And I sat astonished until the evening sacrifice. Listen. And at Y'all the see e- that? He said, I was sat there astonished to the evening sacrifice. Yeah. I was standing in that state until the evening sacrifice. Let's go back over here and look at this over here. Let's go back and look at it. 14 child of the book of Yeremiah. And tell me if it makes sense. Let's just see if it makes sense. Let's start back at 14 and 7. Let's see if it makes sense. He said he was there until the evening sacrifice. He was just astonished. 
Let's see what happened. 14 and 7 again. A Yarum Yahoo. Yarum Yahoo. Listen. O Yahuwah, though our iniquities testify against us. Wow, their iniquity testified against them. Do thou it for thy name's sake. Do it for your name's sake. For our backslidings are many. Man, we don't went back a lot. Come on, son. We have sinned against thee. You can turn the heat on a little bit. It's a little chill on some of them. Go ahead. Oh, the hope of, of Yasharal. Yes. The husha thereof in time of trouble. Oh, that's when you want it, boy, in the time of trouble. Go ahead, son. Why shouldest thou be as a stranger in the land? Why should you be as a stranger in the land? And as a wayfaring man that turns aside. We heard that before then. We know it's talking about him. Ain't that right? Cleophas told her, or thou but a stranger. You don't know what happened to you. You didn't even know why they told him they did it. And then they asking him right here, why should you be as a stranger? Matter of fact, and why should you be as a man astonished? Why should you be hanging somewhere to the evening sacrifice? Look at what he said. And as a wayfaring man that turned aside to tarry for a night. Yes. Why shouldest thou be as a man astonished? Look at it. Why should you be as a man astonished? As a mighty man that cannot say. Listen. Yet thou, O Yahuwah, art in the midst of us. Listen, you're in the midst of us. And we are called by thy name. Wow. Talking about his people, the Yahudim, right now. Yeah. Listen to what he told them. Leave us not. Leave us not. What happened, son? Thus said Yahuwah unto his people. What did he say? Thus have they loved to wander. You love to go outside and go out the way. What happened, son? They have not refra refrained their feet. Come on. Therefore, Yahuwah does not accept them. Look here, he don't accept them. Tell me what you want me to do, son. He will now remember their iniquity. He gonna now do what? Remember their iniquity. Now he gonna remember their iniquity. What happened, son? And visit their sin. Come on, son. Then said Yahuwah unto me. Then said who? Yahuwah unto me. Just amazing that the name Yerim Yahu is Yahuwah be exalted. Why should he be exalted and be as a man astonished? Why should he be as a traveling wayfaring man that just held somewhere for the night? Because he stayed there until the evening sacrifice. Right. Now he said, now he done said unto me. What could he have possibly told Yerim Yahu? Pray not for this people for their good. Forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do. Don't make sense. Don't even line up. Forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do. Pray not for this people for their good. Tell me about when they pray, son. When they fast, I will not hear their cry. And when they offer burnt offering and an oblation, I will not accept them. But I will consume them by the sword and by the famine and by the pestilence. Then said I, Ah, Allah, Allahim Yahuwah. Tell them what happened. Behold, the prophets say unto them, Ye shall not see the sword. Neither shall ye have famine, but I will give you assured peace in this place. That's what your slave master do. They use these people to teach you lies. Yeah, yeah. That's why I told you about the Jake, the snake, and all these preachers. They use these guys. Yeah. Notice what the bigger thing is. Every they guy come to town, they profit whoever. Yeah. Profit whoever come to town to tell you something good. Profit whoever come to tell you God finna loose your burden and the blessings finna flow and all these things finna happen. None of that lines up with the book, though. Oh. Everything we found he do, we can find a pattern. Show me now what they forgave somebody that did all that to him. Our law, we got a law, we got to have some more witnesses. Everything I can find he did, I can always go back and show you and all. Let me go find somebody else in the law and they were doing that to him and they let it go on them. That's what they teach you. They already ingrained it. They gave it a C at best. They say they can't find them to support it. It's support for it. Your slave master needs you to set him be passive. Right, right. And believe he set him sat there when it don't make sense. Yeah. When well, you read Yom Yahu, they couldn't say him tell you, why you say him as a man astonished? Yahu are being exalted. Why should you be as a mighty man that cannot say? Did they not clearly tell him Matthew Yahu he saved who? Oh. Himself. Yeah. Who could they be talking about in the 14th chapter? Yet the book could have told him, don't pray for these people. For their good. Right, right. Why would he have said, forgive them? Right. That's what you do for the help of Christ. You pray. That's how they get them, Megan. They got a prayer for them. You know, boop, boop, boop. Rape his daughter. Kill his wife. Burn his house to the ground. Jesus. They don't know what they're doing. They knew how to go by the gas. Right. <laughs> they knew how to tie you up and bust your head off. Yeah. They didn't know what they were doing. Decent point. 
When they didn't know one, they don't want to tell them. Yeah. Calvin told them, you don't know nothing. Calvin already made sure they knew. Prophesy. Yeah. Yeah. They don't realize how, they, they got us. They got us. Much since he told you about the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Never told you that. Never told you that. They got to keep you divided. I got you three God. Which one are you going to serve? You father, father. I'm a father, son. I'm going to baptize father, son, Holy Ghost. You go ahead and baptize in Jesus' name. I'm going to obey Jesus. You obey the apostles. Keep you divided. They don't need us to speak the same thing. Because then we'll be perfectly joined together with the same mind. They need us in them churches, in them idolatrous temples, on our knees, praying for our oppressor. Yeah. That's the gospel. That's how you make a fool out of it. It's gossip. It's actually gossip. You said Paul. He said P. gossip. You said Paul. He said P. gossip. That's all that gossip. They just been passing around. So they ain't written. We just been following it. Give them a whole nother light now. Give a whole nother light. Whole nother insight. Know what I mean, Carl? Hold on to insight to what people tell you. They make you think you're the devil you ain't praying for them. Yeah. Stuff he always taught you is obey your master, serve, obey your masters. Why didn't he obey him when the man told him not to preach on more than they? Because he didn't make you stupid. He didn't make you stupid. They use the, I told you, all these preachers are CIA operatives. Y'all ain't got to believe me. Every one of them CIA operatives. One thing they're going to teach when they go to school, they're going to know more than I know. They come out of historical facts and they're going to sit back and look at stuff that already been changed. They know this stuff. But it keeps you passive, keep you paying. Keep them riding and flying good. Keep you broke. Keep you wondering, keep you hoping, and keep you on your knee praying. I remember one time the phone passed the uh, the uh, IRS came in to, to investigate the church. That joke had us stole $5 million. They messed up. Man, they had us up. Man, nigga, all those niggas in there on our knee praying for them. Listen, they in there fixing books in one room. We in there on the other, in the other room on our knees in there praying. That nigga at home chilling. Because, you know, he looked at it, he was the only one going to jail. And we took a long joke, had him buzz of $5 million off of church, were paid off. They borrowed a million, messed it up, went another church, borrowed $5 million. They made a mess. Huh? We in our knee praying. Whole time, I was in there praying with the books. They were working. It. Listen, they had called one and said, listen, we need you. I was coming out of the street, too. I get it for y'all drugs. I was stupid. They said, um, yeah, I need you to sign up saying I um, gave you $60,000. 60 what? <laughs> I said, man, I'm playing the IRS. I said, I'm dope. I'm playing the IRS. Put my name on that. Tell me I got no $60,000. From where? <laughs> oh, they had, listen, they had members. Take that hit. Take that hit. Man, look at that. They got secretary signed off on stuff. He was shooting stuff in the town. Just sign that check for such and such. They don't sign them check. He let them all know. His wife got them one time. Let them all know. Said, she want to let y'all know. She was doing the book. Brought me them. He won't be the only one going to jail. Some of y'all in here don't sign check. Full start. Nothing up. What? Oh, he done got another left toe. Said, sign that check right there. They helping them sign them check. Don't sign them check. Don't set them all up. Set here one of them up. Trying to tell them, they folk here. Look at they all CIA operatives. Them niggas on their knees praying. Who else you gonna call on then? Can we need to call on Jesus? Jesus, we work it out. Work it out. Won't he pay your bill? Work it out. No good way Jesus ain't even pay your bill. Jesus ain't even got no green card. Work it out. Didn't he, didn't he, didn't he work it out, work it. Man, you sitting in the back of the chair. You tie that thing up. up. Work Hold that, up. work it out, something, man. Up. Huh, baby, need a new pair of shoes. Work it out. Won't he do it? Won't Nigga, do still back foot. Foot going to cut <laughs> Nigga, work, work it out. Make a fool out. They got us. They played us. These guys are no more than just thug agents that they put in these places to pacify and make a fool, to stir the people up. That's how they got them killed. Use them same guy to stir the crowd up and get the people to go ahead and agree to get the man killed. 
Y'all don't realize these guys go to these seminaries. You can't trust these guys. They're all agents. They train you to be an agent and they give you them degrees. You don't work up and get a doctorate in that stuff. You're an agent. They're training you. They train you to be an agent. You don't even know it. A lot of y'all don't went to school. Y'all don't even know. Some of y'all professor that taught you at the university was CIA operatives. Uh-huh. Let me tell you something. Your bigger recruitment on college campuses. Yeah. They watch you in class. A lot of stuff they put you out in, some of the little social ethics, some of the stuff you go, they watch you to see who look like they got their mind to be right toward their country. Who adopt their country. Y'all don't realize some of y'all teachers were remember CIA operatives. Yeah. They were Asian. They got Asian teach you in the schools. They teach you to be passive. Yeah. They program your mind in colleges. Yeah. Man, a college is a starving mind for knowledge. They make a fool out of them. They watch them, pick them out, put them to the side. You interested in trying to be CIA? Yeah. Now you do know you say no, you ain't going back to that class. All right. Go ahead. I'm going to let you go back to class. And, and you're going to be telling other students, what you going to tell them now? Right. That I approached you about joining the CIA? Right. Hmm? Not going to happen. Cover blow. Yeah. You accept it. I didn't come to you if you weren't going to do it. Yeah. Hmm? Say when they came to you, say when they came to Yehuda. They already knew he'll do it. You already a thief. You already a liar. Huh? I already know you'll take it. They ain't approach car. They already knew they approached me we were gonna take it. They didn't make sense to approach me we weren't gonna take it. When they come to approach you, them car the camera, I already done studied you out. They, before I approach you, I already did your background. I already know your mom and them. You ain't gonna tell ain't nothing I ain't gonna get you, I ain't gonna know about. Had no reason to approach it, but y'all folks don't be knowing that. How y'all feel to know? How many of y'all didn't know that some of y'all professors at these colleges were CIA operatives? Please look this up and see if I'm lying. Y'all ain't gonna let me stand up and keep lying. It's the truth. It's the truth. It's the truth. They just watch you. They just pick out the one they feel like you got a career with us. I can see you're a dumb nigga. You fall to believe what did we tell you. I watch how you sit, especially them class, you get in God these debate, arguments, set up him. That's why I got you in him. I didn't see exactly how you think. You go against the water, you definitely don't have a future with us. Man, we need somebody coming. That, that's why, you know who make good ones as well? CIA, Secret Service, and them people, FBI? Soldiers. Because you know what they always teach soldiers? Follow orders. They love that. They love that. They need somebody to die hard. And they didn't need one Patrick Henry all day. I regret I don't have one light to give my current. They say, son, you got a future with us. You got a future with us, son. You just don't even know it. You have a future with us. Do y'all not know how these people operate? Y'all really don't know, do you? Y'all okay? Amen. Y'all think I'm crazy, don't you? No. Or y'all chapter 11. This is Oriol. What's the last verse? Verse 54. Back and never give me about verse 40. Listen. Ye fools, did not he that made that which is without make that which is within also? Yeah. But rather give alms of such things as Who ye have. Who is he talking to? Talking to these Pharisees, these Sadducees. Listen, he said, did not he that made that which is what now? Which is without. What else did he do? Make that which is within also. So who is he, who that remind y'all love? Who? Sacrifice? The disciples? Exactly right. New ark. When he was told to build the ark, he was told to pitch it within and without. He would tell him to erect it firm within and without. That's why we call him a fool. Because you got to go back and know how he operates. That's why I say a lot of his speech. If you don't know the law, it just went over your head. Because you don't know the law anyway, so you ain't paying attention. He's talking to people that know law, that teach law. Listen. But rather Y'all didn't know, this is a law dictionary. That's why we're reading it. This is our law dictionary. This code, rules, and standards. Listen. But rather give alms of such things as ye have. Come on. And behold, all things are clean unto you. Come on. But woe unto you Pharisees, for ye tithe mint and rue and all manner of herbs, and pass over judgment and the love of Allahim. Mm-hmm. These ought ye to have done, and not to leave the other undone. Come on. Woe unto you Pharisees, for ye love the uppermost seats in the synagogues, yeah. and greetings in the markets. Yeah. Woe unto you scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, 
for ye are as graves which appear not, and the men that walk over them are not aware of them. See that? They don't even know. Come on. Then answered one of the lawyers and said unto him, Master, thus saying, thou reproachest us also. Yeah. And he said, Woe unto you also, ye lawyers. See that? The lawyers didn't say, Hold on, man. You disgracing us too. So that's a problem. You think about it, these folks don't look at them like that. They may cut any people. You know what? Preachers shouldn't talk about preachers. That's in the Bible. I read that before. Who are these people he talking about? He's talking about preachers. He's talking about your instructors and your rulers. And I'm the one going to hell. Tony Smith will fall private because you know what? You're right, Jesus wouldn't. Jesus just cut your grass and trim your trees. Don't make a fool out. They, don't look, they ain't looking at this man. This is why they want to kill him. You running down these preachers. You talking against the government. You making yourself a ruler and you say all men follow you. That's dangerous. You start to get people to think now. You don't think that dangerous. You start looking around you figure, if he sat here and added this and changed this, what else did he add? Right. Right. So now you start to question master. Right. Master don't need you questioning. You've been taught with this book. One thing he taught you, that's God's word, baby. You don't have to take away from God's word. If it's in there, baby, you're supposed to believe it. That's the Bible. You realize your Bible been transliterated and translated and transfigured and conjured. They've conjured spells and put in this book for you. Now we're trying to come along and break the mindset. Get you become a free thinker. Think for yourself. Listen. And he said, Woe unto you also, ye lawyers. Look at that. He can cut them down. The lawyers? Why? For ye laid men with burdens you, gr grievous to be born. Listen. And ye yourselves touch not the burdens with one of your fingers. Look at that. Wow. They go to, you didn't look at these lawyers today and they take you to court. They ain't going to do that time. They get you and grieve off on that center, man. That thing, you know, you're behind going down the road. You think he did you a fail. Listen, man, he was going to give you more time than that. You could do it, big man. He ain't going to jail. Don't go and look at these lawyers that cut these deal to get you to go to prison and sit you down the road. They ain't going to do it. Listen. Woe unto you, for ye build the sepulchres of the prophets, yes. and your fathers killed them. Truly ye bear witness that ye allow the deeds of your fathers. Yes. For they indeed killed them, and ye build their sepulchres. What happened? Therefore also said the wisdom of Allahim, I will send them prophets and apostles, and some of them they shall slay and persecute. Mm -hmm. That the blood of all the prophets which was shed from the foundation of the world may be required of this generation. Look at that. All of it going to come back on them. I'm going to say, forgive them, for they know not what they do. I'm sitting here telling you that all the righteous blood coming up on you. I told them, forgive you. None of this going to happen to you. Forgive them. Come on, son. From the blood of Abel... Unto the blood of Zechariah, yeah. which perished between the altar and the temple. Yeah. Verily I say unto you, it shall be required of this generation. Yeah. Woe unto you lawyers, for ye have taken away the key of knowledge. And what happened, son? Ye entered not in yourselves, mm -hmm. and them that were entering in, ye hindered. You hear that? They keep you from getting it. They took it away. Your lawyer people sat down and they could sit down and go over their book for you. They took away key points out of him. Huh? And every time somebody tried to come in and get it, they make sure you don't enter in it. They took the very key parts out you need. They know what they're doing. But they're not without, they're not without excuse, though. Come on. And as he said these things unto them, what happened? the scribes and the Pharisees began to urge him vehemently. Yeah. And to provoke him to speak of many things. You hear that? They need him to talk some more. Keep talking. Why? Laying wait for him. Laying wait for him. How? And it, seeking to catch something out of his mouth that they might accuse him. That's why a lot of time he stopped speaking. That's why a lot of time we're going to make some changes. Because he's going to try to catch up with your speech. See, when he said something, remember they brought him, we start off in the 23rd chapter. This man here trying to say nobody should follow Caesar. This man here trying to say now that he going to be the Caesar. He going to be the king. He watched them and realized, y'all some dirty niggas. 
Y'all some dirty people. That's what he looked at. Come on, son. Chapter 12. Uh huh. In the meantime, when they were gathered together an innumerable mul multitude of people, insomuch that they trod one upon another, he began to say unto his disciples, first of all, Beware ye of the leaven of the Pharisees, yeah. which is hypocrisy. For there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed, mm -hmm. neither hid that shall not be known. Mm -hmm. Therefore, whatsoever ye have spoken in darkness shall be heard in the light. Mm -hmm. And that which ye have spoken in the ear in closets shall be proclaimed upon the housetops. You don't hear that? Oh, I got to tell it. Come on. And I say unto you, my friends, be not afraid of them that kill the body. Uh-oh. Why do they have to worry about that? All you going to be doing is hitting people. Helping people. Why you got to worry about somebody killing you? He just told them don't be afraid of. Why would he tell them this since you ain't going to be down? All you going to be doing is healing people, doing sack lunches with down there with Jose and William Pete the Hunger. <laughs> Why somebody going to kill you? Right. Are you going to be down there at the dome cutting hair on Thanksgiving? Why are you worried about somebody trying to kill you? Right. Right. Why would he tell them don't be afraid of them that can do what now? Be not afraid of them that kill the body. And after that, have no more that they can do. I ain't nothing that they can do to us after they kill us. Come on, son. But I will forewarn you whom ye shall fear. Listen. Fear him which after he hath killed hath power to cast into hell. Yeah. Yea, I say unto you, fear him. See that? That's what we hadn't done. Been too fearing what these people can do. How they can come in and water hose them. How they can come in and change your whole house around. Take your kids, take your family. That's what they kill you. There's nothing else they can do to you. So this y'all book. You don't want to believe that though, do you? Why is he telling them, don't fear them, they can kill the body? Because he already told them, you do know the time going to come, these people going to kill you. Yeah. But I don't want you to fear them. See, that's a threat in itself. You ain't afraid of, you ain't afraid of dying? Right. Not at the hands of you, because I'm looking at somebody, after he killed me, here's something else he can do. Right. Yeah. That's, why, that's why Daniel was willing to go into the, go into the line then. Right. Yeah. That's why the three Hebrew boys were ready to go into the fire inferno. They realized something. Right. I got something a whole lot worse than if I turn. See, when you think as a Christian, you don't think like that. You're going to try to use what you call that God knowledge. Right. Now, when God want me to use some type of wisdom right now, because I wouldn't really be denying him, but for the sake that I could survive and help and draw other people to Christ. Hallelujah! <laughs> and God get the glory. Whatever you got to convince yourself and make a fool out yourself. He don't need you to turn and do nothing but what he told us to do. They need you to be stupid. Y'all hear me? They need us to be a fool. I'm trying to wake y'all minds up. Why is he telling these people like this? Why is he telling them this? Huh? Let them know ain't nothing that you say in the dark ain't going to come to the light. Ain't nothing you said in secret ain't going to be made open. Come on. Are not five sparrows sold for two farthings? Come on. And not one of them is forgotten before Allahim? Mm-hmm. But even the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Yes. Fear not, therefore, ye are of more value than many sparrows. Yes. Also I say unto you, whosoever shall confess me before men, him shall the Son of Man also confess before the Malachi of Allahim. Mm-hmm. But he that denieth me before men shall be denied before the Malachi of Allahim. Mm -hmm. And whosoever shall speak a word against the Son of Man, it shall be forgiven him. But unto him that blasphemeth against the Ruach HaKadosh, it shall not be forgiven. Jump down and give me verse 50. What's the last verse? Verse 59. Give me verse 50. Listen. But I have a baptism to be baptized with. Mm -hmm. And how am I straightened till it be accomplished? Yes. Suppose ye that I am come to give peace on the Aritz. Come on. I tell you nay, but rather division. For from henceforth there shall be five in one house divided, three against two, and two against three. Mm -hmm. The father shall be divided against the son, yeah. and the son against the father. Mm -hmm. The mother against the daughter, yeah. and the daughter against the mother. Come on. The mother-in-law against her daughter-in-law, and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. Mm -hmm. And he said also to the people, when ye see a cloud rise out of the west, straightway ye say, there cometh a shower. Mm -hmm. And so it is. And when ye see the south wind blow, ye say, there will be heat, and it cometh to pass. Ye hypocrites, ye can discern the face of the sky and of the aritz. But how is it that ye do not discern this time? Listen. Yea, 
And why even of yourselves judge ye not what is right? You hear that? He said you can't discern this time. You can't judge what's right. Listen. When thou goest with thine adversary to the magistrate. When you go with your adversary where? To the magistrate. To court. What happened? As thou art in the way. What you want me to do? Give diligence that thou mayest be delivered from him. Go ahead and get what he wants so you can get away from him. What happened, son? Lest he hail thee to the judge. Lest he wind up dragging your mind to the judge. And the judge deliver thee to the officer. And the judge will give you right over to the jailers. And the officer cast thee into prison. Mm-hmm. I tell thee, thou shalt not depart thence. Until when? Till thou hast paid the very last might. Kazun chapter 2. And verse 11. Try to be worried about their little fake snow and ice. One man control that. Oh man, I'm we'll gonna get out there and slide around and get killed. You ain't gotta die because it's snowing. You could die with the sun. That's right. That's right. You could die in your bed. That's right. Problem we got honestly, even with us. This just just being honest with us. Being honest. Everybody start looking at what they gotta do to be safe. Why are you looking at being safe with obeying the book? Save a thing. This, this just being under with a lot of y'all. And, and it's sickening. Everybody get to worry about their safety and what can happen if somebody can slide in them. It ain't got to be wet. It ain't got to be snowing with nobody grinning to you. He control that. Just like he just told, why y'all fearing your body dying? After that, that's nothing. You better fear the man who can destroy your body. After that, you're going to be cast into hell. Just being honest. A lot of times we start thinking just like Christians all the time. I always trying to look at you, trying to look for your survival. What's, you ain't got no survival. It's a... The only survival you got is what he allow you to have. Right. Not one person here can protect, watch over, keep yourself. He got to keep you. Amen. He be thinking all the time, and the whole time you sit here, you don't even know what's going on around you. He let you know what these people going to do to you. Chapter 2 at verse 10. Listen. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Wow. Fear none of those things which thou shalt what? Suffer. What's going to happen? Behold. The devil shall cast some of you into prison. Wish I had known that. First time I ever heard that one. And what happened, son? That you may be tried. See that? They're going to test you to see if you're going to break. They're going to see if you're going to give in. So you can keep that luxurious life out here in front of these people. You can brag on your impeccable record how you ain't never been arrested. Virgin to handcuffs. You free and you ain't a criminal. You're going to be a criminal then when they start putting these laws against you and you're going to have to deny his name. Yeah. They won't make you deny his name because for the fact that we stand. These Christian, these Christian Jesus folk, they ain't got to worry about nothing. They already know you done denied it. You ain't even acknowledged it. Yeah. We are the people that are going to be coming up. Yeah. We are the people that are going to need to deny the name. They need us to flow in just like the rest of these people that are passive out here. But you already been told this stuff. Behold, the devil, he told you that your adversary is going to drag you to the magistrate, the magistrate is going to get you over to the jail, and the jail is going to put you in prison. But he told you the same thing here in Kazoo. What did he say again in verse 10? Fear none of those things. Wow, didn't he tell y'all that early in that 12th chapter? Don't fear me and kill your body after that. They can't do nothing else. So our mindset got to be on not worried about dying. Don't be afraid of these people killing us. We got to be afraid of going to hell got to be our most part. Amen. You know what's scary? This is it. Go ahead. Be scared of these people. Don't die by their hands. You still going to die. Yep. Then you go into judgment and you go into hell. Yep. So which one makes sense? Either way it go, you're going to die. Yep. This man can't keep none of his great, white, wretched rulers are still alive. They're dead and they're going to hell. Yep. So why would you sit here and be passive and give in this man so you can get a couple of more temporary days that he's going to take at any moment and you still going to hell. That's the part we don't even think about. You trying to get survival with this man? This man ain't never kept his word with nobody. I don't know how nobody make a deal with him. When has he ever kept his word? That man will shake hands with somebody, laugh and play, go on a golf court and the whole time he videotaping him. Got his phone, all his information tapped. He ain't come back with an apology. They act like he need to investigate. God, no. What do you think he do to you? They need people the same skin as he is. They ain't no deal with this devil. Right. Book none told you, behold, what's your fear? None of those things. What happened, son? Which thou shalt suffer. 
Tell them who's going to do it, son. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into who prison. Who do you think going to do it? Nothing but the devil. Right. They're the devil. That's right. Wicked one. Amen. He said the devil going to do it. And what happened, son? That you may be tried. Uh-huh. And you shall have tribulation ten days. What you want me to do, faint, quit? Be thou faithful unto death. And what you going to give me? And I will give thee a crown of life. That's what I'm looking at. Somebody's going to put in there, we're going to wind up dying in there. Y'all need, let me tell you the truth. Y'all need to know what y'all doing. I think a lot of y'all just done took on something because you just want a nice little play ride. Y'all need to know what y'all doing. These people got a whole lot going on. Y'all have no idea. Let me tell you something. It's a whole world working around y'all. Y'all ain't been, y'all been clueless too. Y'all done looked at this man, y'all been looking at him in a whole different light. Y'all ain't paid attention to nothing that man been saying. Y'all done sucked you into praying for him. Y'all them Yahoo said don't even pray for him. Not for their good. And when they pray, he say he ain't going to hear them. When they fast, he say I won't accept it. Huh? He needs you to believe it. He needs you to believe it. He needs us praying. Who is he going to listen to but us? If my people, which are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray, seek my faith, turn from their wicked way, then will I hear from Shemaim. I forgive their sin. I hear the land. He needs you praying. He needs you praying. See, I need you to do it. I need you psychologically doing something, even though you don't know what you're doing. That's how stupid he is, because he won't give you the name. But I just need you praying. I need you praying, but I don't need you to know what you're praying for. I need you believing, but I don't need you, I don't need you believing the right thing. That's how stupid he is. I probably wasn't going to help him anyway. Yeah. When we come into the knowledge of who we are and what he actually set up for us, he's done. Yeah. He's looking at this now. Yeah. He's done. Yeah. His day number. Yeah. He trying to make y'all look like he just actually got all this obeyed. He done. This nigga don't know what's going on. He don't even know his wife banging it done made. He don't know nothing. He didn't make a fool like he don't know nothing. He just gotta play y'all. He tell you you the police. When you're on the street, you call. You see somebody. You see something strange. You report it. He needs you watching you watching me, and I'm watching you, and nobody watching him. Once you report what he doing, that's how he use him. Huh? You're on the street. You know what? You be a trapper. You can be the traffic trooper. You see someone on the road, you call in, we report it. Look like we seen it. He don't never see what they doing, though. That's how he gets you. If I got you watching each other, you ain't got time enough to watch me. Y'all don't think like that, do you? Don't worry about it. They're probably over their head anyway. See the 13th chapter. Let's look at the 13th chapter book of uh, Oriel. I try to get y'all out of here. Man, that book's so right, though. Amen. That book right. Amen. Let me have 13 and 1. Listen. There were present at that season some that told him of the Galileans. Drop down and give me 13. Listen. And he laid his hands on her, and immediately, immediately she was made straight and glorified Allahim. And the ruler of the synagogue answered with indignation because the Yahusha had healed on the Shabbat and said unto the people, There are six days in which men ought to work. Yeah. And them therefore come and be healed. Yeah. And not on the Shabbat. Yeah. Yahusha then answered him and said, Thou hypocrite, does not each one of you on the Shabbat loose his ox or his ass from the stall mm -hmm. and lead him away? To watering. Come on. And, and ought not this woman, being a daughter of Abraham, whom the adversary had bound, lo, these 18 years, be loose from, the bond, from this bond on the Shabbat? Yeah. And when he had said these things, all his adversaries were ashamed, and all the people rejoiced for all the glorious things that were done by him. Mm -hmm. Then said he, unto what is the kingdom of Allahim like? Yeah. And whereunto shall I resemble it? It is like a grain of mustard seed, which a man took and cast into his garden, and it grew and waxed a great tree, and the fowls of the air lodged in the branches of it. And what again, verse you at now? At verse 20. Come on. And again he said, Whereunto shall I liken the kingdom of Allahim? Mm -hmm. It is like leaven, which a woman took and hid in three measures of meal, yes. till the whole was leavened. Yes. And he went through the cities and villages teaching, and journeying toward Jerusalem. We know about that, don't we? Hiding in three measures. 
Abraham, Yasaku, and Yakov, until the whole was leavened. Uh -huh. And when the fullness of time would come, Yahuwah sent forth his, his bin, made of a woman, made under the law. So we know about it. Hiding in three parts, we know that. Come on. Then said one unto him, Yahusha, are there few that be are there few that be saved? And he said unto them, Strive to enter in at the straight gate. Yes, it is. Come on, son. For many I say unto you will seek to enter in uh -huh. and shall not be able. Come on. When once the master of the house is risen up yes. and has shut the door, and you begin to stand without and to knock at the door, saying, Allahim, Allahim, open unto us. And he shall answer and say unto you, I know you not when she were. Yes. Then shall ye begin to say, We have eaten and drunk in thy presence, and thou hast taught in our streets. But he shall say, I tell you, I know you not whence ye are. Depart from me, all ye workers of iniquity. Uh -huh. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth, when ye shall see Abraham, Yatsakut, and Yaakov, and all the prophets in the kingdom of Allahim. Yeah. And you yourselves thrust out. Mm. That's something for to consider. Come on. And they shall come from the east and from the west and from the north and from the south and shall sit down in the kingdom of Allahim. Come on, son. And behold, there are, there are lads which shall be first. And? There are first which shall be lads. Come on. The same day there came certain of the Pharisees saying unto him, Get thee out and depart hence, for Herod will kill thee. You hear that? They need him to go. Get thee out hence, hurry up. Because Herod should kill thee. What happened, son? And he said unto them, Go ye and tell that fox. He said, Tell Mr. President. Tell that fox. Yeah. Behold, I cast out devils, and I do cures today and tomorrow. Yeah, he's on performing. The day and tomorrow. What happened? And the third day, I shall be perfected. Look at that. Come on. Nevertheless, I must walk today and tomorrow. Yeah. And the, and the day following. Yeah. For it, can, it cannot be that a prophet perish out of Jerusalem. Come on. Oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, which killeth the prophets yeah. and stoneth them that are sent unto thee. Wow. Come on. How often would I have gathered thy children together as a hen doth gather her broad, broad, oh, her brood, un, her brood yeah. under her wings, mm -hmm. and ye would not. Come on. Behold, your house is left unto you desolate. Yeah. And verily I say unto you, ye shall not see me until the time come when ye shall say, Blessed is he that cometh in the name of Yahuwah. Look at that. Now we're scouting this bird. We ain't going to see him now. He would have gathered us and brought us in. He said, now you left scattered and your house done left desolate. You know why? We missed the time of our visitation. That was our visitation. He could have came and took us then and gathered us in. We missed it. What we did, we wound up stoning and killing everybody that came to try to deliver us and help us. Those are the people we fought against. Same thing y'all sit and do today, the same thing y'all do. Y'all sat down and y'all fight the very delivery. At the 14th chapter of the book of uh, uh, Yerukanah. Mm -hmm. Make it 14 and 1 right quick. I'm going to let y'all go with some more y'all need to know, but don't worry about it. They don't do what they've been doing. Take my pearls and I trample them through the mud. I've been so victimized by these people so long, they don't even think to be free. It ain't just you guys, it's everybody. We all been messed up. Yeah. Like, keep murdering and killing us and sitting around giving folk that shoot our men. Now, you see a man walking down the street naked, come and sit, tell you something wrong with him. Right. Even if he tell you he know him, he give you a name. Not know him, you just walk down the street naked. Right. And he trained how did somebody white, they'd, they'd have took him and wrapped him up and yeah. took him and got him some mental health. Gun him down, wait a year later, then still get a man up done, bun to get out of jail. How many times? Then the man, and then when little Betty keep telling you, the man was a veteran, the man's a veteran. Too late now. Don't bring it up now. White folk don't care about you fighting for them, they still kill you. White folk don't respect them. White folk, when you in there and they hurt and somebody shooting at them, hey, we bleed the same blood, brother. Ask them guy that went on that help fought in Germany. When they helped fought, when they fought Germany over there in France, ask them what happened they got back. That's what happened for Normandy. They'll tell you what happened. They got that plane. The white boy went one way, they went another. Yep. Yep. Two, they got that plane. They looked at them segregated bathrooms when they got out. They're right. White folks ain't changing. 
you know, play yourself if you want to. Play for they saw they got that, you know they seen color and white toilets. White folks in trouble and die need all right, they bomb and shoot. Yeah, we here together, brother. We got each other back. So ain't God, nigga, lose my number. And I was in distress. You know what they sign? Under distress. Man, man, you were sitting there, man, man, you were drinking out of the same canteen. I drunk out of under distress. <laughs> my wife told me, you get in there, you thirsty, you're behind that hole. You'll drink out of it too. You trying to survive. Isn't that right? Somebody shooting you in there, you trying to survive. You do whatever you got to do. We wrap up in the blanket together. What all we got to do, man? We trying to survive, brother. So we got that plan. Man, ain't fooling with you, nigga. Man, I come to my house, get your behind, gun down. Isn't that right? White people come back here, man. White people ain't got no pressure on them. The white folks ain't got no pressure when they go over there. That's right. Only one that white boy be getting killed, the one that just going out gun hole doing something stupid. Yeah. They don't put a black face on that line. They know no people don't want to kill. They ain't got no fight with nobody black. Yeah. They got a problem with these white devils come over there at them. Yeah. They make us go kill them so they'll hate us. White people not to make everybody hate you. Yeah. They put up right in the same boat with them folk that hate them, wind up hating us. It's just like you who said, written in their law, they hate us without a cause. Right. Every time you come on the street, I let my dog out. I let my dog come at you. You hate my dog. You don't realize I train my dog to come. My dog ain't got no fight. I make that dog come out and fight and bite you every time you come down the street. Dog trained, made to do that. Put him on the chain and beat it, show it. Get that nigga as soon as he come on the street. Same thing he do, dog. Got no fight with them people. I ain't got no fight with Ilza, Ilza, nobody. I ain't killing nobody for that. I'm like, Muhammad, I ain't fighting. I'm like, Muhammad. <laughs> I'm like, Muhammad, I ain't got no fight with them people, man. <laughs> I drove in and put that line. But I was scared to death. I was, man, we gone. Somebody put some gas right in front of Muhammad. We were out of Atlanta. We were going to be down. We were all blank. That's the second time. Sherman burned her down the first time. Muhammad Ali was number two. He walked him still. <laughs> I said, man, we done. Somebody get that torch. I thought the was going to be ashy. Solomon Gamora. Whole thong with ashy. We ain't had that many sisters. They're like, oh, Muhammad. <laughs> I'm sure we, we ought to have at least 10 for him. Smell the city. Muhammad going to take us down, boy. Y'all all right? Amen. Listen to the book. Let not your heart be troubled. You, you believe be what? You believe in Allahim. Do what, son? Believe also in me. What happened? In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not what? So. What you would have done? I would have told you. If it were not what? If it were not so, I would have told you. At the 28th verse. Listen. Ye have heard how I said unto you, I go away and come again unto you. If ye love me, ye would rejoice, because I said, I go unto the Father, for my Father is greater than I. Listen. And now I have told you before it come to pass, that when it is come to pass, you might believe. Listen. Hereafter, I will not talk much with you, for the prince of this world cometh and have nothing in me but that the world may know that I love the Father, and as the Father gave me commandment, even so I do, arise, let us go hence. I'll explain that to y'all tomorrow, most high willing. That's good, brother. Amen. That's good.